Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I'm gonna show you how you save damaged kale and collard greens. It's July 21st. I don't really like the taste of my kale and my collards when it's hot. They're not as good. These plants will survive through the winter here in Maryland Zone 7. So I was away on vacation. You can see the white moth that just flew in on cue. Uh, it's a butterfly actually. It lays eggs, the green cabbage worm comes out, cabbage loopers chew holes in the leaves, and just look at the devastation. I don't feel like trying to save this plant. You could technically clean, clean these leaves, boil them, eat them if you want. So how do you save the plant? Strip the leaves off, completely feed the plant. Let me show you what I mean. This is what I recommend you do to your mid-summer kales, collards, when they are infested with white flies, caterpillars, any kind of problem insects. Strip off the leaves, leave the stems, they will grow back beautiful leaves for September for the fall. It only took about a minute, if that, to strip the leaves off of that collard green plant. Collard greens and kale enjoy the cool weather. They can take a frost. The leaves taste better. The stalk that's left will stay alive. We're going to water it in with uh, fish emulsion, bring leaves back. While it's bringing the leaves back, that moth will go through its life cycle. It'll still be around come September, but it'll be fading away. So I will get all these new green leaves, delicious kale, which is much tastier, delicious collard greens, which is much, yeah, which is much tastier in the cool weather, in my opinion. How do you do this? You just go right in, you see the stalk, snap the leaves off. Looks drastic. You can do this if it has an infestation of white flies, any kind of problem. You know, and as we're in here, we may find some of the worms. You could drop some dust on here. You could spray it with your neem oil. But because I missed my routine and I was away, things just got out of control. Um, those are white flies. So these plants really have problems. I thought I saw them when I was snapping the leaves off. I'm just gonna take the leaves, compost them. Let me strip off the rest of the leaves, show you how I feed the plants. Here's a different kind of caterpillar in there. That might be an army worm, I'm not sure. Either way, the caterpillars are coming in and they're eating the plants. And I'm just not gonna spray masses of neem oil or stronger chemicals on here. Strip the leaves off. You will be surprised at how well they come back. Subscribe to my channel and I will show these plants come September. And there's that guy right in there. Now once you strip off the leaves, it looks really harsh. We're gonna water it in with the fish emulsion, but if you look right down here, where I've been taking off bottom leaves over the last month, leaves are coming back. That's gonna to happen to every stalk right here, every stem that remains in the ground. Again, perfect for your kales, perfect for your collards. You will have a fall garden using your crops that you planted um, in the spring. Water it in really well, whoa, <laughs> really well with your fish emulsion, just soak in the whole area. When you take off all those leaves, you just want to give this plant tons of nitrogen. I will do this again in about two weeks. This is two gallons, fish emulsion, just follow the directions. But really just get in a lot of nitrogen and these plants will come back. Don't be afraid to do something drastic. Instead of getting frustrated and pulling out the whole plant, strip off the leaves. Your spring planted kale and collards will come back in the fall with delicious sweet leaves. The other thing that you wanna do is make sure after you do this, put down some insect dust on there or some sprays and spray every week just to kill off any of the problems that may be hanging around. You're not gonna be eating anything off of here till September anyway. Treat the problem with those sprays or with those dusts, you'll be happier for it. Thanks so much for watching and don't get frustrated. If you gotta do something extreme, just yank off all the leaves. You'll be happier come fall when these plants are producing again. Thanks so much for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.